Claudia Cowan live on the story in San Francisco. Claudia. Good morning, Bill. Well, two dozen witnesses, 12 days of testimony, and now the jury and the family of Kate Steinle will hear both sides make their last best case that Steinle's death was either an act of murder or a tragic accident. Remember, the bullet that killed Steinle traveled 12 feet, ricocheted off the ground, and then flew another 78 feet before striking her in the back. Defense witnesses said it would be impossible to murder someone by essentially bouncing a bullet like that, but the prosecution argued there was intent to kill. The defendant was just a lousy shot. Illegal immigrant and multiple deportee Jose Inez Garcia Zarate claims he found the gun wrapped in a T-shirt, and it went Went off when he picked it up. Prosecutors argued he brought it onto that crowded pier concealed in his clothes and that guns don't just fire on their own. Murder two is an intentional act, i.e., you pull the trigger intentionally, and in addition to that, an inherently dangerous act where malice can be implied based on your behavior. The defense cast gout on the reliability of a police interrogation that seemed to elicit a muddled confession. One witness said the interpreter didn't accurately translate certain words like trigger. And surveillance video of the crime scene proved that some of Zarate's responses were just wrong. And the key part of the statement, he said he was five feet away from the Steinle when the gun discharged. And we know that's totally not true. He also admitted to walking by her uh, when she was shot. We know that's not true. There is a lot here for the jury to consider, and they know that their verdict will be debated by the nation no matter what it is, Bill. Closing arguments and jury instructions are expected to last all day, which means deliberations should begin tomorrow. High stakes. Claudia Cowan, thank you. Live reporting there in San Francisco.